Hello, welcome to the second part of the chapter education. In this part, we will talk about higher education. So, let us begin. So, after independence in 1948, central government appointed a university educa education commission under the chairmanship of Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. So, what are the functions of central, uh, university education commission? So, first is to include financial grants and standard of university giving financial grants financially madad karna money provide karna then the standard of universities and coordination sabhi universities ka standard improve karna unka quality improve karna and coordination jo bahut sare universities hai pune university mumbai university delhi university in sab ke courses ko ya in sab ko coordinate karna ek sath lana to agar ek sath layenge to ek dusre ka knowledge exchange hoga then method for functioning of university education commission what were the method First is the commission appointed for five year plan method. So what did they adopt? They decided planning for five, five years. What will be the development that will be done in education after five years? So five years ka plan karne lege. So five years ka plan, ek bar plan ready ho gaya. So plan implement karna start karenge. To sanction and disperse the grants of universities. The universities ke grants, agar univers kisi university ko paiso ki zarurat hai. So ye commission, university education commission will sanction the amount paisa paise manzoor paise pehle manzoor karenge baad mein wo paise distribute karenge distribute karenge matlab disburse karenge then undertook and they are distributing the money on the behalf of government so government ne unko adhikar diya hua hai ki aap paise distribute karo then undertook the planning and of university education coordination of syllabus then university education we are talking about higher education higher education means 12th standard ke baad ka education so, the university education will plan how to provide type of education and provide it. Then, coordination of syllabus. So, syllabus which should be like a syllabus in India, then should be to coordinate it. Giving primacy to national needs through education. So, again, the same it is same like the intention of Kotari Commission. So, national needs, the nation's need, if we need more and more doctors or engineers, then we should give education to the students who will become doctors and engineers. So, the nation's need is to fulfill education. That was the intention of University Education Commission. Then, the planning and implementation of various schemes for higher education. So, the higher education, ke liye, higher education ke liye, jo schemes are chahiye, usse schemes to plan karna, aur uske baat us schemes to implement karna. अगर मुझे हायर एजुकेशन में प्रोडक्टिविटी अच्छी चाहिए अगर मैं आज एजुकेशन अचीव एक्वायर कर रहा हूं तो मुझे आगे जाके जॉब्स भी अवेलेबल होना चाहिए सो so वैसे मुझे सिलेबस भी बनाना पड़ेगा सिलेबस ऐसा बनाना पड़ेगा कि जो पढ़ के मुझे जॉब्स मिल सके सो so ऐसा प्लानिंग करना पड़ेगा सो द यूनिवर्सिटी एजुकेशन कमीशन वाज प्लानिंग एंड इंप्लीमेंटिंग द वेरियस स्कीम्स फॉर हायर एजुकेशन ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन इट हैज डन वैल्यूएबल वर्क इन एस्टैब्लिशिंग यूनिवर्सिटी डेवलपमेंट काउंसिल्स then center for advanced studies for post graduation education so post graduation graduation ke baad jo hum further studies karne jate higher studies like we are doing post graduation courses if you are a ba bachelor of arts then that is graduation if you are doing ma or phd that becomes post edu post graduation education so post graduation education jo higher studies ke liye naye naye universities establish kiye gaye it also started country wide classrooms program through television after television was started, after television was started, they were running courses. Pure, pure India mein ya pure, pure India mein hume, hume courses ke baare mein pata chalta tha. Ya phir wahan teachers Delhi mein sikhate the ya Mumbai mein sikhate the. Aur wo program pure door darshan ke madhyam se pure country mein ya pure Maharashtra mein prasarit kiya jata tha. So by using door darshan, by using television, they were broadcasting the uh, broadcasting educational program. So they were they started countrywide classroom. Next one important thing that was done by government was that was establishing National Council of Educational Research and Training or NCRT. So NCRT is uh, making the textbooks for CBSC board examination, CBSC board students. So establishing is September 1961. What is the main objection? implementing education the government ko jo school education ke mamle mein ncrt is helping and the scheme se government ke wo implement karta hai the ncrt was given the responsibility of educational research and development as the name suggests educational research and training so education ke mamle mein research karna that was that is the job of ncrt 
and training trainings will be provided to students also and teachers also so teachers also need training they if they are if they want to develop new new techniques so it is very much important that if the students are not able to understand what the teacher is learning then there is no use of appointing a teacher or the, of, there is no use of going to school so teachers should also be trained so that they can and they can make the students effectively they can make the students understood about various topics so it is very much important of uh, very much important to train the teachers also in good manner in uh, in proper manner so the restructuring of school curriculum and textbooks so textbooks ko restructure kiya gaya naye textbooks banaye gaye so student friendly ho ye sab kaam karta hai ncert then it has it has played a role in designing school curriculum and textbooks with the cooperation of central board of secondary education so secondary central board of secondary education ya fir cbse so cbse ke school textbooks ko design karta hai ncert and cbse schools are using ncert textbooks then it provides guidance and cooperation in the area of primary and secondary education to the state government ncert ncert is national council of education research and training so it is a national institute nation mein organization banaya gaya so it is also helping the state governments to to provide to, to it is also providing guidance and cooperation in the area of primary and secondary education so it has been involved in designing workbooks and handbooks for teachers so teachers ko bhi train karta hai in teach in teacher training in developing teacher learning techniques and conducting talent search examination at national level so there are various examinations scholarship examinations that are conducted by ncert at national levels so SCERTs on the basis of on the uh, on the lines of NCERT जैसे NCERT establish किया गया वैसे state government ने SCERT एस एस्टेब्लिश किया सो इन महाराष्ट्र महाराष्ट्र स्टेट काउंसिल ऑफ एजुकेशनल रिसर्च और एम एस सी ई आर टी दैट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन पुणे सो ये सेम सिमिलरली इट इज ऑन द लाइन्स ऑफ एन सी आर टी जैसे एन सी आर टी है वैसे स्टेट में एस सी आर टीज एस्टेब्लिश किए गए तो महाराष्ट्र का जो एस सी आर टी है उसका उसका नाम है Maharashtra State Council of Education Research and Training that was established in Pune the institute performs various functions so what are the, if the question comes what are the functions of MCERT then the answer is improving the standard of primary education primary education ka jo standard hai jo quality hai improve karna then in service training of teachers so when the teachers are in service then they are getting more training or teacher also needs to be updated uh, if the syllabus is getting changed then teachers ko bhi train karna padega so if the maharashtra board syllabus are getting changed then teachers of maharashtra are trained by mscert then training in the areas of syllabus and evaluation to syllabus ko agar naya syllabus aa raha hai to teachers ko train karna padega then vocational guidance for students after 10th and 12th exams for their educational functions if the students are passing 10th and 12th examinations so there are many students who are not knowing how what are the what are the opportunities that are available in the future so mscerts are organizing various seminars and they are telling the students about the vocational education so engineering education hai ya fir jo alag 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 logo ko career opportunities available hote hai to unke liye bare mein train karta hai and it brings about periodical called as jeevan shikshan so mscerts is publishing a periodical periodical yani ek magazine ya masik saptahik and it is called as jeevan shikshan then bal bharati Bal Bharati was also established by Maharashtra government the Maharashtra State Bureau of Textbook Production and Curriculum Research Bal Bharati was established in Pune on 27 January 1967 Bal Bharati Bal matlab bachcho to bachcho ke textbooks ko design karta hai so now you must be having Kumar Bharati textbook so you are now Kumar so after 5th standard Bal Bharati Bal, Bal Bharati are designing textbooks for primary education primary education and for secondary education kumar bharati is publishing textbooks bal bharati prepares textbooks for school children textbooks are made in uh, made in eight languages so maharashtra mein eight alag alag languages mein textbooks banaye jate hain first is marathi hindi english urdu kannada sindhi gujarati telugu then a magazine called as kishor is a monthly magazine for children it is also published by bal bharati so next we will talk about the important policy that was started by government that is national policy on education in 19, 1986 so in 1986 government of india made a policy national policy pure india ke liye ek jaisa education policy banaya sorry 
According to this policy, certain changes of fundamental nature were brought about in primary, secondary and higher secondary education in keeping the changing need of the society. As the society is changing, जैसे समाज का डेवलपमेंट होते जाता है वैसे एजुकेशन को भी चेंज करना पड़ेगा एज यू हैव सीन दिस इज द फर्स्ट ईयर न्यू सिलेबस न्यू सिलेबस इज इंट्रोड्यूस इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड सो नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट द मॉडर्न इंडिया जो 1950 के बाद इंडिया का इंडी हिस्ट्री है वो हम पढ़ रहे हैं इनिशियली वी वेर स्टडिंग अबाउट लास्ट ईयर जो टेक्स्ट बुक था उसमें फ्रेंच रिवॉल्यूशन इसके बारे में पढ़ते थे बट नाउ फ्रेंच रिवॉल्यूशन या अमेरिकन वॉर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस उसके बारे में पढ़ते बट नाउ वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट मॉडर्न इंडिया so as the society is developing then we should also develop the education pattern so primary secondary higher secondary education ko bhi change karna padega under this policy common core syllabus was framed all over the states so common syllabus pure states mein pure india mein ek jaisa syllabus similar type of syllabus same nahi bol sakte similar type of syllabus was framed all over the country then all students in india will get equal educational opportunities so everybody will get equal opportunities nobody will be differentiated kisi ko differentiate nahi karenge सभी को एक जैसे अपॉर्चुनिटीज अवेलेबल करके देंगे एंड देर इज नो स्कोप इन नेशनल करिकुलम फॉर इंडिविजुअल स्टेट्स टू ब्रिंग इन फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन अकॉर्डिंग विद देयर कल्चर जोग्राफिकल एंड हिस्टोरिकल नीड्स सो देर इज द स्कोप इफ द इफ एनी स्टेट वांट्स टू चेंज द नेशनल करिकुलम जो नेशन नेशनल गवर्नमेंट ने या स्टेट सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ने जो करिकुलम बना के दिया या सिलेबस बना के दिया अगर किसी स्टेट को चेंज करना है उनके कल्चर के ऊपर या उनके जोग्राफिकल और हिस्टोरिकल नीड्स के ऊपर उनको चेंज करना है देन दे आर अलाउड टू चेंज दैट सपोज इन महाराष्ट्र वी आर वी वांट टू स्टडी अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ शिवाजी महाराज देन द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र कैन एड दैट लेसन और एड द न्यू टेक्स्ट बुक रिगार्डिंग दैट सो इट इज ओके दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिजर्व अवर यूर कल्चर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ यूर स्टेट देन यू कैन चेंज दैट नेशनल करिकुलम बट देर आर सम दैट चेंजेस शुड बी वेरी लेस पूरी तरीके से आप सिलेबस को चेंज नहीं कर सकते थोड़े थोड़े प्रमाण में चेंज कर सकते देन द प्राइमरी एजुकेशन करिकुलम 1988 एटी एट वॉज प्रिपेयर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्लान ऑफ एक्शन डिजाइन एट द नेशनल लेवल फॉर द इफेक्टिव इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ नेशनल पॉलिसी ऑफ एजुकेशन सो नेशनल पॉलिसी ऑफ एजुकेशन जिसने एक प्लान बनाया वो प्लान की वॉज डिजाइन एट नेशनल लेवल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट प्लान प्राइमरी एजुकेशन करिकुलम इन ऑफ नाइनटीन एटी so in, the policy was started in 1986 so two, two years of research was done and ultimately primary education curriculum was published in 1988 hope you have understood this part so if you have like this video please share this video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching and please continue to watch the third part of this video